Hi everybody, I'm Miss Cheney. I'm going to be your third grade teacher this year at Palm View. And I just wanted to pop on here to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about our school year this year. So I have some information about our schedule, our expectations for the year, um, what our homework and grading will look like as third graders, what supplies you will need for the school year, um, and then lastly a little bit about myself and our classroom tour. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Our schedule looks like this. We have specials and fine arts to start off. Then we will go into our STEM and PE rotation, English language arts, homeroom recess. We will break for lunch. Then we will have our extended hour where we will be working on Mind Play, which is a new program we will be incorporating into our day. Then we have our math block where we will be learning our new math strategies, picking up where we left off last year. Then we have a chunk of time for science, a chunk of time for writing, and at the end of the day we'll have our math club, our athletics club, which if you are um, returning to Palm View from last year, you are familiar with athletics, so we'll be continuing this year. If you're not familiar with it, that's okay. We uh, certainly will be at the end of this year. And then at 3.15 we begin our dismissal procedures. I have here a few expectations for our classroom. Um, these expectations are things that have more to do with your behavior in our classroom and the way that you think about yourself and others. So I'll read a few of them to you. In our classroom, we always believe in ourselves. We always have a positive attitude. We include everyone. We work together. We look out for each other. We lift up our classmates. We don't bully or tease anyone. We keep our hands to ourselves, especially now during the times that we're in where we have to do extra hand washing to prevent spreading our germs. We treat everyone with respect, peers and teachers, adults, anyone that you're in a community with, we need to learn to respect. We include everyone, we work together, we believe we're smart, we work hard, we use our time wisely, we come to school prepared, that means with our brains on, our materials ready, and we follow our rules and we'll set those classroom rules up the first day of school. When you come in and we meet each other face to face, we'll make sure that we discuss what our classroom rules are, um, will be so that you know exactly what to expect. Lastly, we'll all follow our class procedures that you'll learn the first week of school and we respect our classroom property. So that might be property that belongs to me, the school, or your classmates. We'll make sure that we learn to respect everyone's space and items. Next, we have some information about our homework and grading this year. So your homework for third grade will be an assigned assignment every single night. It might be math or reading. You will have one or the other, but there will be no homework on Friday. So you'll get to enjoy your Friday evening and your weekend with your families. Um, on top of your assignment, math or reading assignment, which will most likely be math, you are going to read for an extra 20 minutes every evening, whether that's reading with your sibling or your grown-ups, um, them reading to you, but spending 20 minutes reading a story, a book, whatever it may be that interests you at home. If you'd like any additional pages or practice uh, that you feel you would like for home, I am happy to provide that to you, but those will not be graded assignments. When it comes to grading, you will be graded for your assignments, but not all assignments are going to count the same. So assignments like tests and things that we do um, for real grades will be 40% of your grade. Classwork and other assignments like homework will be 60% of your grade. So your tests don't count as much. However, you do have that extra classwork and assignments to boost your grade if you need. Next, we have our supply list. So you, if you've already gone and bought your supplies from our generic supply list, that's totally fine. Please do not rush out to the store to get new things. Um, these are just my preferred items that I like to have and use in our classroom for the year. So if you have these items, fabulous. If not, don't worry. We will make sure that um, everybody is set up with their own supplies for the year. Um, so that we minimize our cross-contamination. So if you could, and you haven't dropped off supplies already, please label your students' items um, with a Sharpie so that we all know who they belong to and those items will be specifically for your child. Um, no one else will be using or touching them. 
These items are things like a pencil box to keep all your materials in, spiral notebooks or composition books, it doesn't matter, but you need three of them. One folder that will be going back and forth to school to send homework, assignments, parent information, important things like that, that will come home and go back to school every single day. You'll need other materials, of course, like crayons, highlighters, pencils, cap erasers, a pair of scissors, um, glue sticks, most importantly, face masks, headphones for eye ready, um, a box of markers, and then these extra materials that we use um, for storage and for organization in our classroom, as well as cleaning supplies, things like Ziplocs, copy paper, tissues, Lysol or baby wipes, and hand sanitizer. Obviously, those last two are very going to be very important items that we're going to be needing all year. So if you um, have extras of those or are able to get your hands on them, they're hard to get our hands on these days. So please, um, if you'd like to donate, that'd be fantastic. If not, we will make sure that we have all the supplies that we need here for our school year. Okay, so now I've given you a little bit of information about our school year and what third grade is going to look like as a student. I also want to show you some pictures of our classroom. Since normally at open house, you'd be able to come in and look around and read the posters on the walls. I wanted to give you a little classroom tour with some photos. So when you come to school the first day, you will see our door with our big welcome sign on it. We're room 214 upstairs. When you come in, we have our little rocking chair, our calendar, some bulletin boards that will have our anchor charts for our subjects and our topics as we learn. We have my desk and my supply area and library where you'll be able to hopefully eventually check out some books to take home, um, use my uh, paper trays and things like that as you need them. We also have back here our sink, which we will be using quite a lot this year to do our frequent hand washing. As we are entering this school year with much different procedures, we will make sure to educate our kiddos about frequent hand washing, sanitizing, and um, when you come in and leave a room. So we will be um, working extra on those procedures this year to make sure that we keep everybody clean, safe, healthy, and happy. We also have um, our group work table back here. As you can see, we have some dividers to keep us safe from each other. As even on top of wearing masks when we work in a smaller group. Otherwise, you'll notice that our desks are six feet apart so that you are socially distanced and safe from one another. So that ends our classroom tour. I just wanted to include a few pictures to give you an idea of what it looked like. This is my Meet the Teacher page. This is a little bit about me. I am Kira Cheney. This is my first year teaching third grade. I have been teaching for four years now and I have experience in first and second grade, but this will be my first year teaching third. So I'm very excited to learn with you, to grow with you, and to take on this school year together. Um, in 2016, I graduated with my bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of South Florida, and I began teaching in 2017 when I um, received my teaching certificate. Just a little bit, some fun facts about me, my favorite food, drink, I am a coffee fanatic. I absolutely love coffee. If I had a choice for lunch every day, it would be chicken salad. That is my favorite thing to eat. Um, I love dolphins. I love to draw, color, swim. My favorite color is light pink. Oops, sorry. Oops. Anyway, my favorite color is light pink, and I love spending time with my family on the weekends. I do have a two-year-old daughter, um, so she keeps me busy most of the time, but she is absolutely the best, the funniest, sweetest little baby you've ever met, um, so I'm very proud of her. But other than that, hopefully we'll get to know each other better once we get to meet face-to-face, -face. but that's a little bit about me so you have an idea of what your teacher's like. Um, this next part here is a parent letter with more information that I've pretty much already covered. Now, if you do have more questions or would like to read this letter more in depth, it is linked in our Schoology folder um, as a parent letter document. So you can go on, read this letter at your convenience, um, or reread if you need to, um, or if you've forgotten or need to ref refresh your memory. Now, 
I've included in here our Dojo class link. However, most of you have already connected to Dojo. Uh, I spoke with a lot of you yesterday so that I could get your phone numbers and get your invitation sent out to you. So a lot of you already connected to Dojo. If you are not connected to Dojo, go ahead and send me an email with your phone number, your information for the school year so that I can get you added to that as soon as possible. Um, otherwise, I just wanted to say um, that I'm really excited to take on this school year with you. It's going to be very different. It will be very challenging, but we will get through it together. I will make sure to keep everybody safe, happy, healthy, and clean in our classroom with your help. The last thing I do want to address that I did forget to say was please, please, please send your child with a bottle of water to school. Um, those waters need to be clear and they can be water only. No Gatorade, no juice or things like that. Please clear water only in a clear container. We are not going to be allowed to use our water fountains on the campus and because of our hot, hot, hot Florida heat, I am encouraging you all to stay hydrated by bringing your own bottle of water every single day. Um, other than that, just a reminder to keep your masks on while you're on campus. You will find more information in our school, Palmview School welcome video that will talk more about masks and our procedures when it comes to sanitation. If you like to view that, that is also on our Homeschoology page. Otherwise, if you have any more questions, you know how to contact me. You can contact through Dojo or email. Please do not hesitate if you have any questions or concerns to reach out to me. Otherwise, I am look for looking forward to this awesome year. I can't wait to meet you all on Monday. And yay, go Panthers! Can't wait to meet you all. Mwah.